Hi guys. All right, I'm going to read a couple of comments and then go to uh, some articles and videos where people are finding some relief from this frequency hell that we are living. I just read this and, you know, my computer runs slow or buffers certain videos from certain channels and then it will just decide not to do anything I want it to do and I have to shut it down because the screen has frozen. My son plays video games in his room with other people all over the United States. His internet never, never has a problem. His games run smooth and I run around cursing about what they are doing to me. Well, you should have seen me last night. But I also just got off the phone with a subscriber who was saying that he believes that people who are uh, watching you know, the shows that are really the shows that are not about informing oneself about what is taking place in the country. He believes that their computers are fine. Our computers, on the other hand, are not fine. And I am hearing from more and more that they are having a lot of problems. Well, the problems that I'm having are just mounting every single day. And yes, there are times when I think, hmm, is somebody in there just screwing around with me? Every program crashes, um, not responding on browsers, not responding. Uh, that message comes up on every program last night, trying to do a video. Finally got it done, processing it in my video editor. It crashes. Um, and lately, I've been having a lot of problems on YouTube where <laughs> I will watch or try to watch videos and there's no audio. There's nothing wrong with my speakers. There's, it, you know, the audio is on. So I decided to just check it out, went to Netflix. The audio was fine. YouTube, every video that I clicked on, I had no audio whatsoever. Now I'm getting that circle a lot the videos are not playing and I realized because I went to check now here I am on the comment page where they show all the comments for all videos and I can respond on this page but I'm not getting any responses to my responses to private messages very, very, very few, and that has been going on really for like nine months. But I was not getting any responses to my comments, and I went back to check to see if they were actually underneath the particular video, and sure enough, they were not. My responses are getting deleted. So, Gmail. Gmail freezes now at least once a day. I can't write an email. I can't open my emails. I just look at the page and try to click on something and nothing happens. So whenever Google allows me to use it, I get to use it. This is incredibly frustrating. And dealing with the frustrations every single day it does get a little maddening. So yeah, I understand. I run around cursing about what they are doing to me. So I saw a comment below about a smart meter guard. At this point, I am so sick I will try anything. The frequencies are bad, bad, bad. I am unable to eat. I am getting sick. In Vegas, we have a lot of these towers. Many, they try to disguise as a tree, but there are others just right out in the open, looking like they are ready to send lasers out. They look powerful. They also sit in a valley, so the microwaves are also bouncing off the mountains and coming back at us, double whammy. Double whammy. Yeah, it is really bad. I'm going to read another uh, video that I just received and was just, I'm heartsick. 
that this is happening to so many of you. My family is so sick right now. We have never had anything like this before. These piece of shits have been spraying us nonstop for two, three weeks, give or take a day or two. It's not the flu. It's a sinus and throat thing. We have no energy at all. And I know it is from the spraying because when we walk outside, our noses start to run, our throats get sore, and it's hard to breathe. My son said he felt like someone was sitting on his chest. I feel like I barely have the energy to let the dogs out. Oh, speaking of that, one of the dogs' nose, nose is, run, is constantly running, and the other is constantly trying to scratch his nose on the stores. Stairs, sorry. Not normal. There's a very special place in the bowels of hell for these people that are spraying us like cockroaches, and my response was, I'm so sorry to hear that. I don't know what is going on here, but not one day in the last few weeks have I felt normal. My normal, crappy, but tolerable self got the flu, non-flu, last week, which is absolutely from frequencies. It comes on, like, immediately, and... The exhaustion is so intense, I cannot do a thing. I feel like I have a fever, but I don't. But I write, but the brain fog is worse now than it ever has been, and it never lets up. You know, I used to have these, you know, moments where I didn't feel this this brain fog, I, I don't know what else to call it. Like, my brain is just not operating as, you know, it should. But now it's never letting up. And I know the frequencies are really bad here. So, I'm getting an awful lot of comments from others who are really not okay not okay. So let me get to that comment and I know that there are people who have used a smart meter guard. Here, Carol, about a month ago we purchased a smart meter guard and a router guard for our home to help block some of the signals as we suffer severely from electro hypersensitivity. The changes have been significant. Our mood swings, heart palpitations, sleeplessness, anxiety, lethargy, depressed moods, and other issues related to energies and frequencies have been reduced significantly or eliminated. It cost us a bit over $200 to purchase both items, but in hindsight, it was well worth the expense. We know this is not cheap, but how I feel has justified the expense for us. If anyone wants to look into it, the name of the guard is Smart Meter Guard. We hope this is helpful. Now, um, I stayed with uh, a woman in Kentucky, and we made our own Smart Meter Guard. I stayed with somebody in South Carolina who had a Smart Meter Guard, and the guard, as far as I know, <clears throat> but I could be wrong, the guard put on the smart meter outside will lessen the frequencies that the smart meter is emitting going outward. But it doesn't lessen the frequencies coming inward. And I think what needs to be placed on the wall where the smart meter is outside, place aluminum netting or aluminum screening right on the wall inside, which will block the frequencies or reduce the frequencies coming in to your home. But Universal Mother is saying that she has experienced, clearly she has experienced, a real drop in symptoms from placing that smart meter guard on her smart meter. So, 
it is absolutely worth a try. The router guard, I don't know what it is. In Kentucky, um, we wrapped the router in aluminum screening, which I believe did reduce some of the uh, frequencies coming from the router. Unfortunately, um, there was nothing that we could do inside the wall because the smart meter outside the wall was directly uh, the inside there was a wall so it wasn't like you could put aluminum screening anywhere because there was a wall that uh, blocked it wasn't an open wall I hope you understand what I'm talking about all right um, the most important thing is to reduce, reduce, reduce your, your exposure. Now, I came across this article. Um, neuroscientists discover a song that reduces anxiety by 65%. And you can listen to the song, you can read the article. I'll play just a little bit of the song, but yes, they did studies and it was shown that the stress that people were experiencing, they listened to this song and they felt better. 65% felt better. So here's a little, um, just a little taste of the song. Gotta love it. so it's quite soothing and yes sound emits a frequency so uh, there are many people who listen to these videos they play them as they're trying to sleep the 432 Hertz frequency music for sleeping and deep relaxing healing music re relaxing music for sleep um, so this kind of music Okay, so these are good frequencies, and um, yeah, I tried it, and I can't say that I really got any kind of relief, and I think that what the problem is, is that I am in such a, an area that is so densely littered with antennas and cell phone towers and Wi-Fi and smart meters in apartment complexes and uh, yeah they have definitely done something with the frequencies because this high-pitched buzzing sound now that I can't seem to distract myself from during the day this is very very different and based on the comments that I've been reading I'm not alone in experiencing this difference so they are using these frequencies as a weapon against us and that's why it is so important to reduce your exposure make sure that you are holding that cell phone away from your body when you are using it do not use it in the car when you're driving with the windows up because you are pulling the frequencies more intensely into your body when the phone rings 
or when you're texting or when you're calling somebody, even if you're not driving and just sitting in the car, um, if you have to be in your car, open the door, open the windows on both sides so that the frequencies can actually kind of escape the car. When you're sitting in the car with the windows all up and you're using that phone, your frequencies in that car are just circling about. No joke. Um, now, a lot of people... Now, also I want to mention that these videos, you can play them uh, for nine hours or for eight hours or for four hours. There's a lot of videos with the uh, 432 hertz, which is a frequency to relax. Okay, they also have free music for dogs. Now, a lot of you have left comments saying that your dogs, your cats are really experiencing these frequencies. Um, there are frequencies that you can for free uh, use and see if it you know helps your dogs and I'm sure they're on YouTube as well now I will link below to this I do not like to recommend if if there was a product out there that I got a lot of relief from I would have no hesitation to recommend getting that product though I would preface it by saying we're all different the exposure the levels of exposure are very different from person to person um, the the amount of stress that we actually experience in our own lives very different so what may work for universal mother the smart meter and the router guard, it may not work for someone else. Um, so all of what I am saying here is try it. Certainly if you have the money to spend, try everything. But again, reduce the amount of exposure that you have. If you have Wi-Fi in your home, get rid of it and get, in, get your Get your internet access grounded with an ethernet cord. If you have a Wi-Fi router, change the router. Because you know what I learned in Great Barrington, Massachusetts years ago? They can turn on your Wi-Fi. Even if you have your Wi-Fi shut off on your computer, they can turn it on. They can turn on the Wi-Fi on the router from uh, there from the uh, whatever provider that you have which really pissed me off to no end get rid of the Wi-Fi router to make sure that you will not have Wi-Fi get rid of the gadgets that you have that you don't need you may want them, but they are killing you. They are absolutely destroying your health, even if you're asymptomatic now. I had so many subscribers who were asymptomatic calling me kind of crazy in the first couple of years. Guess what? Some of them have apologized because they now are symptomatic and they have to live the nightmare of electromagnetic hypersensitivity. And it's cumulative. These effects are cumulative, which means that if you're exposed to these frequencies, the more you're exposed, the longer you are exposed. Your body begins to break down. All right. So this, um, this site tells the story of the person who has the site the poisoning symptoms these are the symptoms that he had severe or several rashes almost like a sunburn only slightly bumpy very sensitive to touch slightly itchy very tingly 
I'm reading this because I have heard from many of you who have had these kinds of symptoms. A red glow above eyebrows and bridge of the nose. A rash, which is different from the others and went from my temple out onto the cheekbone on the phone side of my head. A hypersensitivity to all radiation, electrical, magnetic, wireless, microwave, and ionizing. Lymph nodes suddenly becoming inflamed and sore. In the presence of radiation sources, during peak electromagnetic exposure, when I was about to fall asleep at the point where you push yourself into a sleep stage, I experienced a very bright, startling flash of light that seemed like an electrical shock in the brain, and my body would jerk from the jolt. This occurred for a few weeks, then dissipated as the radiation began to leave my body. Really severe brain fog which I still get on a much smaller scale when I am around wireless technology. Stroke-like symptoms where the right side of my body was weak, lasted several months, and twice my brain seemed to take a vacation for three to four hours, very scary. Depression and a very hopeless feeling, eyesight seriously declining, very rapid heartbeat, bouts of unexplained fear and anxiety, tiny hard bumps, that came up following a slight sensitive sensation on my arms, initially with the mower radiation, but, well, he his electromagnetic hypersensitivity began when he was using a high-powered zero-turn lawnmower, um, which he mowed his 12-acre farm with. Yeah, um, the high voltage, you know, it it doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, Wi-Fi or something that that makes us sensitive, um, but then we become sensitive to all of it, so it's it's a real drag. Growing pressure behind my right eye, uh, the uh, yeah, so the tiny bumps initially from his mower the radiation coming from that, but continued to re-erupt from hypersensitivity to wireless phone and computer router radiation. And EMF coming from my granite countertops until I eliminated them from my environment. You know, if you have metal anywhere, metal is a conductor. If you're wearing metal jewelry. If you're wearing uh, a bra with the underwire, all of it is bringing the frequencies more intensely into your body. I want to show you something. Hang on. This is a picture of a subscriber's kitchen floor. They had put down uh, linoleum and then suddenly this started to appear on their linoleum. Little round uh, white spots and as you can see up here at the the top it almost looks like an, an antenna. Now if there is any kind of metal in this linoleum, it will attract the frequencies more intensely and I guess it will begin to uh, display a, a lighter shade or a different coloring. But my subscriber said that when she stands on here she has felt this vibration or what I'm not even sure if I'm using her words but like a frequency coming up into her body right when she's standing there so yeah these frequencies are incredibly powerful and incredibly dangerous 
They're incredibly dangerous. All right. Um, so key solutions that have helped my electromagnetic hypersensitivity, if you really want to get well. You know, I hate when people write like that because everybody wants to get well. Not everybody has the money to get well. All right or to buy all of these things, or to get the heavy metals out of the body, including mercury dental fillings, dental caps with mental underlays, pins, wires, and staples used in surgery. Um, do all of you have the money to get the mercury out of all of your teeth? I bet not. And even, you know, an awful lot of the supplements, they're expensive. So it's not about really wanting to get well. It unfortunately now is whether you can afford to purchase all of these things. For those who still have money and still are comfortable and still have the 12 acre farm and all that, great, good. But please don't assume that everybody can, can go out and do these things. So I will link below to to this article, um, Increase Iodine levels in the body um, and he suggests certain kinds of iodine um, you need to you know find out I actually had a subscriber send me the survival shield which is the one that Alex Jones sells um, and I do take it you know, and I detox and I do an awful lot of stuff. Um, you know, I, why I'm saying this is because I do think that there are an awful lot of people out there trying every which way to feel better. But if they're not feeling better, a lot of people judge them thinking that they're not doing these things. This is an unprecedented time that we are all living. And there are so many individual differences. So I just want to reduce all of this judgment because I've heard it. So this is not coming from, you know, my just thinking that it's out there. No, I have heard it. Anyway, um, so, you know, do whatever it is that you can to get the heavy metals out of your body because these heavy metals, yeah, metal, metal conducts, it's a conductor. It pulls the frequencies right smack into us. And we are all, we are all at different levels, but we all have these heavy metals inside of us. My God, we breathe it every single day. Um, Cilantro is a good heavy metal detox. Man, I'm so sorry Kafka, Kafka Winston World is gone because there were so many videos on that channel. One in particular talking about ways in which to detox. So, all right. <coughs> you will have to do research um, yourself, but one of the reasons why I wanted to, excuse me one sec, sorry, one of the reasons why I wanted to read from this article was, find out if you have an overgrowth of the Lyme bacteria. God, I must have swallowed something wrong. I uh, swallowed it down the wrong pipe. The frequencies keep alive bacteria that's why so many people are having difficulty recovering from Lyme, recovering from an awful lot of the conditions that 
so many people are having to suffer. Um, the frequencies are keeping all of this stuff alive in us. That's why it is so important to reduce your exposure. That's why it's so important to get aluminum screening and put it up on the wall, regardless of how it looks. You can put a picture over it, but get it on the wall where your smart meter is on the outside. Put it directly where the smart meter is. And do get a smart meter guard because those frequencies that are coming out, you will notice that if you have any shrubs or any plants or grass even, snow, watch the snow during the winter around your smart meter. It dies. Everything dies around your smart meter. So if you want to protect you know, the trees or whatever it is that you have outside, get a, get a smart meter guard. Um, and I, yeah, get a landline phone and only use your cell phone for emergencies. You know, keep your face away from the computer screen because the closer you are to the computer screen, the more frequencies you are getting off that screen and plus the fact that it's damaging to the eyes. Um, hell, if you can move if you're living in an apartment complex with a lot of smart meters and, and Wi-Fi uh, around your or in your neighbor's apartments, th that, those Wi-Fi frequencies come right smack through the walls into your apartment if you have uh, no Wi-Fi. Um, but if you do live in an apartment complex and your neighbor has Wi-Fi, and your upstairs neighbor has Wi-Fi, and your downstairs neighbor has Wi-Fi, and you have Wi-Fi, you're crazy <laughs> to have Wi-Fi at least reduce your exposure by getting rid of your own. And if you can move out of that kind of environment, do it. Do it before you begin to break down because doing anything when you are sensitive to these frequencies becomes very difficult. Um, so if you do have any kind of condition like MS or Lyme or lupus or fibromyalgia or any of those and you have Wi-Fi, you are exacerbating your condition. And that is absolutely something everybody can do get rid of their Wi-Fi and get your internet grounded. Unfortunately, getting rid of your Wi-Fi router, that will cost you. Um, and it talks about rebalancing your body's electromagnetic field on an ongoing basis to discharge the bad frequencies. We are surrounded in bad frequencies. We are surrounded with bad energy. Americans are not a real, um, you know, high frequency, good energy, you know, kind of people. We we're surrounded. You know, my God, a couple of days ago, I think it was Sunday. I couldn't believe I was awakened by my neighbor, both of them on either side of me, screaming at one another. Every other word was a curse word. They don't like one another. And I just listened to this and I thought, Jesus, it sounds like I'm in seventh grade. Oh my God. And it was over nothing. It was over nothing. It was just this, you know, spew of hatred towards one another. And I think a lot of you have been witnessing and surrounded by, yeah, just this low consciousness, this, this energy that is really pulling us all down. Balancing stress and emotions are extremely important. Yes, it is. And he talks about Evox. Uh, contact me for evox information on my contact 
me page. I don't know what the e box is, but he says that stress, emotions are directly related to our health. This is very hard to accomplish when you have electromagnetic hypersensitivity and cancer, uh, which I guess he had. But it brings tears to my eyes to hear of many with this health problem that have tried to accomplish, have tried or accomplished suicide. The extreme stress comes from lack of hope. Many have because they don't know what to do about it. And then to add to the problems is the lack of belief and support by family and friends. Yes, it is very, very hard. And I suggest to all of you, do not go back to people who are not giving you what you need emotionally. You keep going back to them and it will kill you. It just, don't do it. Um, you know, if all you have is YouTube and people on social media talking about their experiences, then stick with that because people in real life that are not believing you, even those who can show you that, oh yeah, I believe you, I believe you, I believe you, and then suddenly it's clear that they didn't because then suddenly they start saying things that you know um, is kind of off the wall then it's very damaging. It's very hurtful. And then you gotta have, then you're dealing with a lot of other emotions that, wow, it, it just, you know, it's exhausting trying to stay up. So there are products here on this page. I am going to tell you that these are products that I've never used. And this is not the point of the video. The point of the video is for all of you to do the research yourself. You can check out, um, you know, these products. If you think that they're going to be, you know, good for you, test them. Report back, too, please. If anything helps you, then leave a comment below because it could help other people. You know, that's what's really important here. That we hear from you and what you have done. And while it may not have helped me, it may not have helped other people, um, it's important to write what has helped you. And I hope that just having read some of these comments and and uh, mentioned a few things that you can try it and it will help you. But again, let me end this video by saying the number one thing that you have to do is reduce your exposure. Reduce your exposure as best you can. Don't tell me that you cannot get rid of Wi-Fi unless it has something to do with your job. Though I think that there are ways around that and I was talking to somebody who's uh, knowledgeable and I didn't fully understand what I was being told there are people now in Arizona a subscriber was forced into wireless 5G no joke why because they're gonna get rid of wire uh, wired they are getting rid of it that's why you gotta do it now and try to hang on to the ethernet cord as long as you can because that apparently is what my subscriber in Arizona wanted, but no, there's no provider out there that will provide wired, a wired router and 
Guess what? Only 5G. So there are areas in this country now that are 5G. So for those who are saying they're not rolling it out, no, they are, and they are using it in areas. People are telling me that they have 5G on their phone already. But why did she have to have that? Because her children are in school. And guess what? Schools now are mandating homework on the internet or, or having to access it via computer. So what do you do? You can't forego the, the internet access if your kids have to use it to do their homework. Many, many people are forced to live in environments that are so unsafe. And no, not everybody can get out of those environments. They're stuck there. Our hearts should be going out to them because they really suffer. All right. All links are below. Ciao, guys.